to match the star. Steve Allen. Red Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Manny Flair. Richard Dawson. And Kay Beller. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the host of Match Game 74. Thank you very much for joining us here, one and all, no matter wherever you are. Nice to see all of your bodies. How are your beautiful bodies? <laughs> Hello, dear. Hello, darling. Gene, I love your salt and pepper suit. It hides your dandruff very well. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do it every time, won't it? Hey, have you heard about Fanny Flagg's invention? No. I haven't either. Fanny, would you tell us about your invention? Yes, I'm very excited. She's wearing it. Oh, I... <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, I have come up with a sure cure for a headache, and it's a little yellow pill, and uh, it's just on the market. You take it with a glass of water and three aspirins. <laughs> Do it every time. You haven't heard about her invention either, have I? I, 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 I wish I hadn't quite thought. <laughs> All right, I guess our celebrities are all ready to go, or half ready to go. Let's say hello to our current champion, Valerie Wood, and her challenger, Nancy Jones. Hello, ladies. How are you? Valerie is our current champ. She has a total no uh, cash amount of $350. She's won one game, and we ran out of time. Uh, just as we were about to say hello to Nancy. So, Nancy, we say hello to you now Hi. and ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. I'm originally from Chicago. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a housewife, a mother of one little girl, and I'm a part-time student, and I'm married to an engineer named Casey Jones. <laughs> Casey Jones, the engineer? Oh, I wonder. What's his real name? <laughs> Casey Jones. Is that Casey Jones, the engineer there? What kind of engineer is he, Nancy? He's a mechanical engineer. A mechanical engineer named Casey Jones. Well, I tell you, you know, live, living with that name all of your life, I will not say any of the obvious things. Just but welcome Kay you. Ballard will sing a few bars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. no, I'd like to start off by singing a medley of every song that was ever written. <laughs> about Casey Jones. Okay. All right, well, we know about Nancy, and we know about her husband, and we'll begin this game, ladies. Good luck to both of you, right after we pass along this message to you. Here we are. Are we ready to go? Push the button. Reveal two questions. Nancy the challenger, you make a selection if you would, please. Well, my little girl's name is Amy, so I'll choose A for Amy. A for Amy, she says, and this is it. The Sheik was so rich. His underwear was lined with blank. The sheik. His underwear was lined. The sheik of Araby. Sing it, baby. <laughs> you remember the sheik of Araby? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Charles is ready, and uh, Brett, yeah, Brett is ready. Is ready. So now we'll go to Nancy Jones and ask her. The sheik was so rich, his underwear was lined with... Silk. Silk. That's a good answer. Listen, if I had that money, I'd line mine with silk, too. What do you say? I say rag mop. <laughs> Come on, play the rag game. The sheik was so rich that... His underwear was lined with oil. With oil. Okay. <laughs> he must have been a slippery character. I mean, with 48 wives and all that. I mean, that was created quite a problem. Brett, what do you say? I don't want to hear any more from okay. you. I was going to say rayon, but I thought possibly that was a little too personal. Uh, silver threads. Silver threads. Silver threads of uh, my love. The goal. That's enough. I'm going to get him if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> what Charles, you? what did you say? Silver Silk is the answer. I said gold. Gold. So we've got two golds so far. What do you say, dear girl? I said that it was lined with mink. Mink. <laughs> Very good. That was the hottest sheik in the desert, I'll tell you that. Richard, what do you say? Uh, his underwear was lined with money. Ooh. 
Now it was nickel and dime stuff. But, uh, uh, yes. Every Seriously, folks. Right he's got you over a barrel. Where's my mother's Before I get birthday. my answer, would you have these half sold for me? Please? Yes, of course. <laughs> Truth. I happen to know the chic and yes. he spends a lot of time in Switzerland, so I thought, like Fanny did, mink. Mink is the answer. Yeah. All right, Nancy, mink is the answer we'll that right uh, we got most often there. Now let's see how Valerie does with her first round question. Henry was late for his wedding because he got his blank caught in the seatbelt. <laughs> Henry was late for his wedding because he got his blank caught in the seat belt. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to Henry's wedding. I'll dance at his wedding. <laughs> You'll drink to the seat belt. Hardly seems possible when you've been at the seat That's true. Charles, the sterile one. Now, Valerie, Henry was late for his wedding because he got his blank caught in the seat belt. Zipper. Really? You're applauding that answer, Nancy? You think it's a good answer, Nancy? Would you have said zipper, Nancy? No. No. <laughs> Steve, what did you say? I couldn't be funny on this one, so I was very realistic. He got his seat caught in the seat belt. Got his seat caught in the seat belt, and he was stuck there, and that's how he was late for the wedding. Brett? That's about as realistic as Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. What does that mean, got a seat caught in the seat belt? You catch what you want, and I'll catch what I want. Well, I think Zipper's pretty dumb, too. And I'm one of the smarter members of this panel, as we all know. True. Uh, I said Zipper. Uh, zipper. <laughs> yeah. Got a zipper there. One zipper. Charles, are you embarrassed? Well, I know I'm not embarrassed. I just couldn't put what I wanted to put, so I made a joke and I said what well, could be very true. It's a lovely story. His ex-wife. Got caught in a seatbelt. No. Okay. I mean, think about it a minute before you discard it. <laughs> it's discarded. How about you? Well, but I... <laughs> I like that. Pay, pay, pay no attention to you. We're taking her away in a little while. There. <laughs> She'll be all right there. She's real nice, though. Sometimes. Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, Splendid. I said... <laughs> I, I, when I get nervous, I either say mother or baby. So I said mother. Got his mother caught in the seatbelt. Okay. Richard? <laughs> Make fun. So far, I'm the only This is Steve's winner. first visit. Yeah. I do want to explain that underneath that granite-like exterior, <laughs> inside, there's a granite-like interior. Right. <laughs> Now, would you show us your answer, please? Says who? Says me. It's my show. Oh, in that case, Zipper! Zipper! <laughs> hey, Valerie. Yeah. Up to you. It's an awful lot like a zipper, but a fly. Oh. That's a net. Right. Right. I'm a fly. So, at the end of round one, it's three to nothing in favor of the current champ, and we'll go to round two right after we go to this message for you. Here we go. Ladies, ready for round two. Nancy, would you please make a selection? I'll try A again. A for Amy, her daughter. That's what she's doing. All right, everybody plays, and she didn't match anyone in the first round. At the party, Lois said, that's not a wig my husband's wearing. He has a blank on his head. <laughs> At the party, Lois said, that's not a wig my husband's wearing. He has a blank on his head. Okay, Gene. All right. That's good. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Now, Nancy. At the party, Lois said, that's not a wig my husband's wearing. He has a blank on his head. All I can think of is mom. Mom. That's good answer. Sounds like a reasonable response to me. Sounds reasonable to you, Steve? Yes. I say rag mop again. You say rag mop again. <laughs> I'm, I am sorry to report that I said bird's nest. Bird's nest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have looked like a wig. Okay, Brett? Well, I couldn't think of anything funny, and I couldn't think of a joke, so I just came up with something totally realistic. Lady. <laughs> he has a lady on his head. Okay. I don't know what's come over.
over me tonight. I know what's come over you. <laughs> I'm not Charles. Well, I'll tell you that Casey Jones's wife is not going to strike out. <laughs> Did I act strongly? I love it when you act. <laughs> yes, sir, just like yes, uh, th th thank you very much. What do you say, Fanny Flagg? Well, first of all, I want to say Brett has hurt my feelings, and I named my triplets after her. <laughs> um, I said Mop. Mop is a man. That's two mops. Do you make it three mops? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I, th I did write the word mop, but then I thought, where would the stick go? <laughs> really? Well, you take a stick, you break the stick off. Oh, I'm not violent at all. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, so I said a cat. <laughs> a cat. Bear with me, Nancy, you've got to match oh, K to sorry. stay in the game. But of course, no. if you hold it... <laughs> no. <laughs> the truth is, I've seen so many hats that look like mops, I... I think you're terrible. Hats. Hats. So, Valerie wins another game. Congratulations. Come on, Valerie. Congratulations. Another $100. You're up to 3 dollars Nancy, it's been a short but very pleasant meeting for us. It's been lots of fun for me, too. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a gift for you. Together with our thanks for being with us on Match Game 74, Nancy Jones. Well, Valerie, you're up to $450, and now you're going to have a chance at the big money here in the super match. Uh, over $5,000 can be yours. You know how it goes, so let's get right to it, shall we? Okay. All right. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank Friday. The answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. Second, $250. Third, $100. Which celebrities would you like a little help from? Richard. Richard, what did you say? Well, <laughs> you know, the last time I had a good time was on Good Friday. Good Friday. Okay, what's his answer? Steve. Steve, what do you say? Well, uh, we might remember Robinson Crusoe, so I put down Man Friday. Man Friday. Okay. All right. Fanny. Uh, Fanny Flag. I'll say, I'll say my gal Friday. My gal, gal Friday. Gal Friday. Gal Friday. No. Just gal Friday, huh? Not mine or yours or anything. Just, okay. <laughs> so you got Man Friday, Gal Friday, and Good Friday. You can choose one of those as the answer or think up one of your own. What would you like to do? Good Friday. You want to say Good Friday? You think that's it? The audience seems to agree with you. Let's see if you and Richard and the audience are correct here. First, may we see the $100 response. Girl Friday. That was uh, Fanny's answer. That Not would have matched that. Not close enough. Yeah, no, that would have matched. All right, still looking for Good Friday. Here is the $250 response. Sergeant Joe Friday. Bum, ba -dum -bum. That's right. That's right. That's, didn't cross my mind, I must say that. Although it's still popular and it's still on. Last chance for Good Friday. Here we go with the $500 yeah, response. Good Congratulations. All right. Very well done. You've got the $500. I know you are very happy that Richard thought of Good Friday. That means you're now going to be playing for 10 times $500 or $5,000. Now, to collect, remember, you got to match one celebrity head-to-head. -head. Has to be exact. Choose one now, if you please. Richard. She chooses you, Richard, because I guess you're a good kisser. Uh, sure. Also, she I wants did, to did. kiss you again. That's why she chose you. Okay, now she'll face me. Here's the $5,000 question. Please write your answer to this, if you would. Blank pen. P E N. He's finished. Now we need a response from you, Valerie. How do you fill in that blank? Blank pen, P E N. Ballpoint. Ballpoint pen. Okay, Richard, for $5,000, may we see your answer? Yeah. You remember, I did give you good friend. I said fountain pen. Fountain pen? Ballpoint 
You think fountain pen is a better answer? That's really yeah, sportsmanlike of you to say so. Because I think ballpoint. No. They're both really good answers, and it was a well, tough you question. Have them both. They didn't win us anything. That's, That's right. You All right, five. you're up to nine hundred and fifty dollars, and you're going to meet another player in a little bit. But first, we've got to do a little business here, and then we'll start that game. Going to start a brand new game. To do that, we've got to introduce a new player, and we're happy to present Linda Rosenberg. Hi, Linda. Have you uh, gotten your hand there? This is from my daughter to the speed luck because she couldn't come on the show tonight, so I have a rabbit's foot. Your daughter gave you that? Yes. How old is she? Yes. She's only eight and a half. And so. she's smart enough to know to give you a rabbit's foot the for good luck. Two of them, I want you to know. Okay. I see. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Where I'm you live in all that? I'm a housewife, and I live here in Los Angeles, and I have a daughter and a son, and practically my whole family is here in the audience. My gr grandmother, who's a great grandmother, my mother, and Where my are aunts. all these people? They're all sitting right there in the audience. Right. I brought my own cheering section. Okay. <laughs> well, you've got a great clack out there. Good luck to you Thank and you. to you, Valerie. And let's begin and ask our challenger to make a selection. Okay, I'll take A. A is what she wants, and here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, this is it. I don't think it was very nice of her kid to pull her legs off that rabbit. <laughs> Boy, <yeah. laughs> Larry always carries a whip with him because he's a blink. Larry always carries a whip with him because he's a blank. Did you hear that, Linda? Yes. Larry always carries a whip with him because he's a... Uh, now, think about it for a second. While our celebrities finish... Are they finished up there? Not quite. All right. I don't know what's taking so long up here. Well, it's not taking so long. I'm sorry. You're picking on all of us. All I'll right, speak for all everyone in now, this Now, we need a response from you. Larry always carries a whip with him because he's a... Lion tamer. Lion tamer. That's a natural, logical answer. Extremely. So is mine. And it's not uh, as good in all other respects, however, as hers. Larry always carries a whip with him because he's a sadist. A sadist. Or a sad. So <laughs> that's the saddest joke I ever heard. <laughs> okay. No, that's a good response, too. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Brett, what did you say? Do you have a washcloth? I have ink all over my fingers. That's driving me crazy. Just I show us the answer there now. I said lion tamer. Lion tamer the man. What about it, Charles? This fellow with the whip? I said sadist again. I'm all right. So we got two of those and one lion tamer. What about you? Let's have a party. I, uh... He said bosoms. <laughs> I'd like to see uh, Steve and Charles after the show. I got confused. I said masochist. <laughs> masochist. I said sadist. Masochist. Okay. That's the receiver. Yeah. But he could carry it. So masochist. He could see that's one that kisses. Well, that's not very good. All right, Richard. Did she spell that like, like spaghetti and muscle? Well, that's, that's right. That's right. right. Spelling. Remember okay. the gentleman who was beaten up by the Marquis de Sade? He said, You certainly know how to hurt a guy. <laughs> that's it, Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. And what do you say, Kate? I said Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. Very good. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Listen, let's go right to uh, your question, Valerie, and this is it. Everybody plays. Weird Harold has a new high fidelity record called The Sounds of Elephants Blanking. Weird Harold has a new high fidelity record called The Sounds of Elephants Blanking. Do it quickly. We're near the end here, folks. Well, I'm already finished. Hurry up. Okay, all set, and now let's call on Valerie. Weird Harold has a new high fidelity record called The Sounds of Elephants. Mating. Mating. She says, The Sounds of Elephants mating. Mating. I told those elephants to cool it. Yeah, well, <laughs> they, they make some... Flying. Flying. That's a crazy record. Yeah, well... Brett? Hooray for the red, white, and blue. Marching, for heaven's sake. Marching! We'll support the... Charles? What about Charles? Uh, elephants making, only come, making it only comes in long playing. I got the short version singing. Singing there. And how about you? Everybody knows the elephants uh, lay eggs. I said trumpeting. Trumpeting. Okay, mm. Richard? Two trumpets to go. Two trumpets to go. Mating is their answer. Mating. And you get oh. one mating. So at the end of round one, three to one in favor of the challenger, and round two will be the next thing that happens, but first this has to happen for you. The time has come, the elephant said, to say goodbye to these two pretty ladies, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. And we'll just pick up with round two, okay? 
And we have to say goodbye to you, too. I'm sorry. I'm not leaving. You're not leaving? <laughs> well, will you come back next time? We can put you up overnight, all right? Excuse me. All right. Terrific. You were all splendid. Thank you, Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Gene Rayburn here from Match Game 74. Hope you'll join us next time. Bye.